take one, eight marker. B mark. The conventional wisdom for a long time was to try to find something that will satisfy everybody. And then uh, that quickly became, uh, you know, just such a, you know, everything was beige. You know, that's like, uh, well, beige doesn't offend everybody. Let's paint everything that color. But that's not what we do. That was the fourth guy. Just tell me, Mark. Who was it? The boss, Ken. That's Ken folks, and he's the head of the grounds for that. Yeah, that's right. And he's the man that he's... He was abusing you and all the other boys there. He's responsible for that. Yeah. Yeah. But he did worse things than that. What worse than? He talked him into hanging himself. He has taken a firm hold on every department in the, on the show. In my experience, that's what works. Fortunately for us, he's a beneficent dictator as opposed to any other time. But it's the scripts, that's why we're here, and the really unusual and courageous choices he's made with the other writers. They like to keep us as fresh as they can. And I, I, I personally really like that. I spend a lot of nights thinking about coming and talking to you. It comes down to me owing you an apology for being distant. You still are. And unless that's going to change, I think we should just let things go. I, I've always thought that less is more. So what we try to do is we try to leave a hole in a narrative for the audience member to fill it in for themselves. Laura, I'm having a confidential conversation. I'd appreciate it if you'd allow us that. Oh, no, I understand. I can eat somewhere else. Thank you. I didn't realize this was your private restaurant. Every year, Chris is challenging us to rise to the occasion. And from the writing to, to the character, to the stories, to um, all the people that I work with, it's just like, sometimes I feel like I'm coming to work and I'm playing in a sandbox. It is a true ensemble. We all, we intermesh, you know, like this, and we all have reactions to each other. What the hell do you mean by reopening my old cases? You think I don't have enough work to do? Or maybe my reputation needs a little dirt kicked out. Maybe it's both. I'm just trying to figure out what we have here. A hooker got slammed around, that's what. Brought her up here for a quick bang. She got feisty and they went toe to toe. Now what here would indicate that particular scenario to you, Leo? Oh, I talked to the desk clerk. The first year establishing a key, smaller ensemble, and then uh, let, letting everybody know and become acquainted with them over the year, and then starting to build on that, introducing more characters, and then freshening the cast. People think, hey, we may see them again. Do you think Brian killed Danny? Yeah, totally. And you heard this too from somebody else, that maybe Brian killed him? No, I heard that maybe a cop did it. The stories have gotten better. I think all the characters have become more comfortable um, with their material and uh, we're taking more risks. The show's been called uh, ruthlessly unsentimental. That's because we really do go over the, sh over the show and the scripts and really try to uh, play much more uh, naturalistic style, and that's much closer to the British style. This fight he was in, do you know what it was about? No, I don't. Well, it's a good bet he was coming to someone's defense, or at least thought it was anyway. He's been that kind of thing a lot, was he? Yeah, ever since grade school, Johnny believed certain things were right and certain things were wrong. Trouble is, he'd get him mixed up when I was drinking. So you'll let me know when we can have the body? Oh, yeah. I'll definitely be in touch with you about that. Just wanted to thank you for coming by and talking to me like this about your brother. Appreciate it. He's really good at loosening me up. Like, I'm sitting there about ready to go on, and I got, like, the next one I got a real long. I know he's gonna do, he's gonna walk right up before, just before I'm gonna do it, and tell me how much I suck, you know, and that kind of thing. So, is, there's no, you can't feel pat any time. <laughs> there's no visible wounds, and if she jumped, I doubt it was from any great height. How many prostitutes we picked up in the past year? Oh, a lot, three or four, anyway. <laughs> okay, hang on a second, guys. Yeah. What else is there in common? Alcohol overdoses or complications from alcohol. All of them taking a swim. Hey, what the hell? I'm gonna call Hamas there. Okay, guys. Internationally, uh, Da Vinci is a huge, huge success. Uh, I, at least in, in, in my terms. The fact that it's traveling really successfully is is really gratifying because it proves the fact that you know, if you do something really well, people around the world will find it compelling.